This is not a test. We are under attack from a silent killer which we now know more about. We report this to the public to bring awareness to the ever-present issue. Be on the lookout for global warming. The enemy is global warming. Our prompted urgency is that the gases are accumulating in our atmosphere, largely due to our human activities, like burning of fossil fuels, industrializing, driving a vehicle, etc. This atmospheric accumulation of gases like carbon dioxide and methane are trapping the sun's heat, which is leading to the gradual heating of oceans, Earth's surface, and our atmosphere. You must be aware of the five greenhouse gases, sulfur oxide, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and carbon monoxide. The focus should be on carbon dioxide. Our various anthropogenic activities, like the burning of fossil fuels, contribute the most to us spoiling our atmosphere. Industries, watch out. Carbon dioxide is a byproduct of the combustion or burning of fossil fuels, such as these coals or oil. During the process of combustion, O2 is reacting with glucose to produce water and CO2. And as the organic matter burns, chemical energy in the form of heat and light are released. It is not just humans who cause global warming, but other organisms as well. Organisms return carbon dioxide to the atmosphere by respiration. Carbon enters the atmosphere as carbon dioxide from respiration and combustion. Carbon dioxide is absorbed by producers to make carbohydrates into photosynthesis. Animals feed on plants, passing the carbon compounds along the food chain. Most carbon they consume is exhaled as carbon dioxide during respiration. The animals and plants eventually die. Dead organisms are eaten by decomposers and carbon in their bodies is returned to the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. In some conditions, decomposition is blocked. The plant and animal material may then be available as fossil fuel in the future for combustion. Carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight enter a plant and convert into glucose during photosynthesis. The carbon cycle is the pathway through which carbon is recycled into the biosphere. Coal is another important source of methane emission that is abundant as well as carbon dioxide. In coal formation, pockets of methane get trapped around and within the rock. Coal mining related activities release some of this trapped methane. Another source of non-human methane emission is through ruminant animals such as cows. These animals create methane as a byproduct that is either exhaled by the animal or released via flatus. UV rays are released from the Earth's troposphere and is absorbed by oceans and lands that heat the Earth. 50% are absorbed by Earth's surface, while 5% are reflected off the Earth. The Earth emits radiation in the form of UV rays, which a small amount passes through the atmosphere. Yet, most are absorbed by the greenhouse gases like water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane, which are all primary This is heat back pollutants. into the air. This warms the surface and the lower atmosphere. If global warming isn't scary enough, high levels of methane and carbon dioxide can result in headaches, restlessness, loss of oxygen, difficulty breathing, sweating, tiredness, and increased heart rate and elevated blood pressure, and much worse. An overabundance of carbon dioxide causes excessive trapping of heat leading to ice caps melting and rising ocean level causing flooding. Ground level ozone can lead to reductions in agriculture, crop, and commercial forest yields, limiting our food. Our whole world can change if we do not do anything about this. There are cleanup and prevention methods that we are going to use. We can rebuild trees. Their photosynthesis abilities remove carbon dioxide, and we can use a carbon capture as well. For prevention, we could use renewable energies such as hydropower, geothermal power, and wind energy. And we could start using sustainable agriculture practices such as biodynamic farming or hydroponics or aquaponics. Also recycling and sustainable transportation like biking, walking, and the invention of the electric car.